Now we're passing the modern structures and here we come to lanes with textured stone, typical of the many lanes we used to find in Tiger Bay and the docks in the old days. Houses face back to back and so there were lots of interesting lanes and stables and other features the children love to play in and all that is gone. And as we walk down towards the seafront, we'll actually leave the modern behind and enter into the past and see the kinds of homes and houses people lived in Tiger Bay and the docks as we come to the next building. Now we come to the old stucco wall buildings which were typical of all the homes throughout Tiger Bay and the docks and lets me know I've gone right back into my childhood and the past and you can't fail to notice the convenient windowsill where it's people could just prop themselves down and hold court in front of your house and neighbours would just come onto their doorstep and join you because this was the proverbial congregational community and the streets were filled with people, the grannies on the doorstep, people would bring their household furniture outside and we'd all stand around and talk. Of course if we were young the adults would send us away because we weren't supposed to be listening to these conversations but then we'd get a chance to go and play in the parks as we'll see as we go down to Butte Esplanade. Now once again we see another one of the parks that the Marquis of Butte built in our area and this brings us to Butte Esplanade. Now there's only a few houses left here but at one time they ran right across the seafront and they had wrought iron balconies and other interesting features. But as the Mount Stewart Dry Dock began to grow from one dock to two dock to three docks, these houses were removed and curtailed abruptly by this industrial wall. Of course, nowadays the wall only serves to separate Techniquest from the residential community. And so we'll look over here now to Windsor Terrace. And these lovely Dutch gabled buildings were typical of the kinds of buildings you might have seen on the south side of Loudoun Square. And now we'll just go right down to the sea wall so we can see the Inner Harbour area and Windsor Esplanade. Now we've arrived at a spot where many people in Cardiff have never been and here we are at Windsor Esplanade right on the seafront and down to the left here we can see the grand houses of Windsor Esplanade where sea captains and pilots once lived. Now very soon right in front of us will be a new huge lake once Cardiff Bay has finished building its barrage and so people living on Windsor Esplanade will be able to come across the street, jump onto their yachts, sail over to Tesco, <laughs> do their shopping and then sail back home and so things will be very different in the near future. Now we'll make our way to the inner harbour and the end of our journey. Now here we've arrived in the Inner Harbour at the end of our walk around Tiger Bay and the docks. Here we can see Techniquest and Harry Ramsden's which represents the future of Cardiff Bay. I do hope you enjoyed your journey with me this afternoon. And all I'm left to say is or oh, thank you very kindly for your kind attention. And finally, just thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed your time here today. Tago Bay, Tago Bay.